Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lyric. Today I would like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Taurus. We'll take a look at, a well, I'll pull some oracle cards to get an overall uh, feeling for the reading. We'll also use tarot to get past, present, and future um, energy. And yeah, so I've already shuffled these cards, so let's get started. So the first one I have for you, Taurus, is Sun God. So um, I'm going to actually pull the book on this. So it's the number 21 because I don't know that much about the sun god. What I'm intuiting from the card is, um, is um, learning, is passion, change, overcoming um, difficulties also. So let's see, number 21. Okay. Um, with this card, the regal energy of the sun god Mandala has landed by your side. The Mandala holds the powerful energies of Ra, the sun god, and all he represents. The energy of vitality, strength, power, and confidence delivered via the golden ray brings a renewing life force and a new light to all the shadows that have crept into your world. Rise again, child of light, as the dawn of the new day is with you. Just as the sun's rays breathe life into every living cell, you too shall feel the warm glow and radiance shining within. Each day as you are born anew, the great sun lives within you. During the dark hours when the sun gives way, gives way to his love, the moon, he travels within the underworld to bring light to all that appears dark. It is a journey that can only be inspired by love. So sail with Ra across the dark skies until your light is revealed anew, just as each morning gives birth to a liquid gold river, only seen by those that hold the stars within their eyes. The time of ascension has come for you. Bask in the brilliance of sun rays and feel your life reignite. Rejoice in the celebration of you, Ra, the sun god. That's a cool card. So I guess this, is, and this also is like um, from what the oracle was saying that this is um, similar to this um, the sun card in the tarot. Okay, so let's get one more, and we've got goddess butterfly transformation. Maybe a a, a period of hibernation before transformation. Okay, um. I'm, so I, what I'm feeling with, with the sun card and this goddess butterfly is that you very recently have um, undergone a transformation and you are um, emitting that new health, that new abundance, that new energy, okay? That um, new awareness that you're carrying with you now. Okay, so let's get some more cards. Okay, um, messages for Taurus. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Taurus. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Taurus, please. What do they... Okay. So um, the first card you have is Bravery Oceans. And I'm really feeling that you've had to overcome obstacles, that you had to face your fears, having to face what's not known to you in order to achieve this goddess butterfly energy, okay? Um, and um, combined with this sun god energy, you um, have manifested um, great change and great abundance in your life, okay? Um, you also have power and volcanoes. So I'm also getting kind of um, also more change and phoenix rising energy here. If you notice um, the, 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 the character in this picture, there's um, these golden um, fiery wings in the background. So just um, overcoming um, um, huge ordeals and arising um, at the top, okay? Um, not being the same that you were before, like being something completely different, being completely renewed, a, a rebirth, okay, is what I'm feeling with this card. So um, rebirth energy, a new creation is what I'm feeling, okay? Okay, and your last card is transformation and pressure. So just a lot of, um, uh, all of these cards just reiterate sort of the same message, 
just um, uh, you're a force to be reckoned with. Um, you've overcome many difficulties to be that um, that phoenix rising from the ashes. That um, through intense pressure, you um, were a coal and you turned into a diamond, okay? That you weren't um, crushed beneath um, the weight of, of, of the sorrow, the weight of the fear, the weight of the rejection, the weight of the loss. Whatever that negative aspect was, you um, overcame that and transmuted it, okay? And now you're brilliant on the inside and you're brilliant on the outside, okay? So let's pull the tarot. So messages for Taurus. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Taurus. What do they need to know for their highest good? Just major changes here. Messages for Taurus. And congrats to you, Taurus, for, um, for not giving up and persevering and being that wicked warrior, okay? That wicked ass warrior that can't be stopped. Congrats to you. Okay, let's pull some cards. Okay, I've got the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Tower card, the Death card. Excellent. So, um, it's a little interesting here because you have the um, you have the Ten of Cups in um your recent past so um so you were doing you were um you know you were very content and happy and things were going along rather well for you um your life um seemed to be um looked good on the inside and the outside you were comfortable things were stable um you were confident um yeah you were just happy overall okay um, in your present energy, you have the Tower card and you have the um, Six of Wands. So you've been victorious over this Tower situation, okay? I'll pull some more cards to clarify um, more about what this Tower was about. Um, how, what, um, what crumbled your foundation. It was a quite, it was quite a tumultuous um, Tower moment because in your future energy, you have the Death card. So, um, like what the Oracle cards were saying, just et in immense, um, Im immense transformation. Okay. So, um, yeah, just, uh, tr uh, transforming all over the place. Like, I, I don't know how much more you can talk about transformation. So I'm going to pull some more cards to get some more, um, clarifying to get some more clarity here. Okay. Tell me more um, about Taurus. Tell me more about Taurus. Tell me more about Taurus. Tell me more about Taurus. Please. More about Taurus. The Two of Cups. Tell me more about Taurus. Tell me more about Taurus. Tell me more about Taurus, please. Tell me more about Taurus. Two more for Taurus. Okay. Tell me more about... There we go. And the Ten of Swords, Wicked. So, um, for your clarifying cards, you have the Two of Cups, the Eight of Cups, um, the Hierophant card, and the Ten of Swords. So um, what this sort of um, recalibration of your energy and this divine transformation, this originated um, from a, um, the ending of a relationship. This relationship was probably a marriage. Um, it also, if it wasn't the ending of a marriage, then you probably went through some sort of legal battle and um, you could have won or you, you could have lost like on the outside, like on the 3D the way that the 3D world would perceive it, but just going through that intense um, battle uh, really, really um, shook you up. Like, um, not just like, um, like emotionally bothered you or you know um, changed you, but 
it was almost like you had a spiritual experience, basically, like a religious experience that transformed um, your mind, that transformed your energy as well, that um, that just rocked you. And um, with the death card, you have the ten of swords. So you had you went to battle hardcore, um, and it was a lengthy battle. It was um, long. It was ugly. It um, there, there used to be this saying, I, I've heard someone used to tell me, you were taken all down and through there. Like you were wrung, wrung out, strung out on the road and left to die, basically. But um, that experience, um, that tower experience really um, transformed you quite a bit. Um, the, the, your energy uh, here is that you were victorious. I don't know if you can see the win. Um, now I'm not sure if, if that's the, how your, um, where your perception is at the moment, but what the, what the cards are telling me, what the energy is saying is that, um, you had a spiritual experience, a deep, profound experience that you are no longer the same person that you were when this, um, incident first happened. Okay. And, um, not only that, not only are you a completely new person, but, um, but you've been transformed, and um, and I and I'm feeling that you have a new um, a new uh, re relationship with Source. That you are no longer afraid of the things that used to be that you used to be afraid of. That um, you're fearless today. That you are confident now. That you are um, you can look um, you can look at you can look people um, dead in their faces without without concern without anything and just put it out there the way that it is so um yeah just a lot of change here I hope that um you understand or that you can perceive all the changes that you that the energy says that you've gone through and how much you've changed I hope that you have the ability to perceive that um that's all that I have if you want um yeah that's all that I have um take it easy Taurus